Alright guys, Kazoo71 here. I want to show you guys a little guide on making kibble. Um, big popular topic. A lot of new players want to know how to do this because kibble is the easiest way to tame things. So you can do it in two ways. You can use a cooking pot or an industrial cooker. So I'm going to show you guys both real quick how to do them. What I'm going to do is throw some foundations down just to show you. I always start with a cross uh, pipe. Now you can use a stone one or a metal one. It doesn't really matter. I am just have a metal one on my inventory. Next you're going to use a... Um, a vertical and I'm gonna throw this vertical down it doesn't matter if it's stone or not just so you have it and then your cooking pot's gonna snap to that thing so when you snap the cooking pot in it's gonna snap to this and give itself water you got to have the intake pipe in there and I'll show you that in just a second and I'm gonna throw a cooking pot down so I can show you that you need both methods to do this so with the industrial cooker you gotta you gotta set up the water to it and I don't have it yet you need to put the intake pipe on the back side so let's grab this intake pipe here and I'm going to show you guys it's going to snap it to the water. And once I do that, it's going to have water. And as you can see, it's going to show that it has water. There you go. So that's a water element. You need water for every kibble. So if you use an industrial cooker, you're going to set it up with water. If you're using a regular cooking pot, you're going to need some water skins, canteens or something. Water skins are the cheapest one. As you can see, I just filled two up. I'm going to throw those in there. That's a minimum you need to make kibble is a water is the basic ingredient you need for all so there's the cooking pot and the industrial cooker that's where you cook them at and we're going to get into what you need for next but i just want to show you guys how to set that cooking pot up so another basic ingredient you're going to need for all kibble is fiber fiber is in every every recipe all right so you also need some berries so you can grab berries and fiber just by harvesting them by hand like i'm doing you can get a lot of fiber with the sickle if you want to use a sickle but by hand is how you're probably going to do it early game um you're probably not going to be making kibble early game anyway because you're going to need eggs to do it um you need eggs for every kibble recipe now once you have a garden set up this is a mod uh wall garden so don't mind that it doesn't matter what your garden looks like as long as you have a garden set up you're going to need the um these for the recipes you're going to need the citronelles you're going to need the rock roots you're going to need the saver roots and you're going to need the long grass so um though those are the four main crops or four crops in arc and each one of those is an ingredient of one of the kibbles so you will need those four if you want to make all the kibbles but there you go and we're going to get into what you need next but there you go is the basic ingredients all right guys so let's start with the basic ingredients you need for every kibble recipe that is water number one you can use an industrial cooker that is going to be irrigated already or you can use any kind of water container in the normal cooker that being a water skin water jar or a canteen to include the tech canteen now that water needs to be at least 2.5 percent fuller it won't work and the second ingredient that is required for every kibble recipe is five fiber all right guys let me just mention this on the front side when you are using eggs to make kibble you can use non-fertilized eggs or fertilized eggs either egg will do all right the first kibble we're going to talk about is the basic kibble you're going to need five measure berries 10 amora berries 10 tinton berries and one cooked meat now you can cook the meat in a campfire or an industrial grill either one will do and you're going to need one extra small egg now this is the most important ingredient and required to make this these small extra small eggs are a dillo dodo feather light caruca which is the penguin the lystra which i call the level up guys a parasaur a tech parasaur or a vulture and that is what you're going to need stick all those in and you will get basic kibble all right here's the dinos that prefer the basic kibble all right guys next kibble is the green one or the simple kibble you're going to need five measure berries two rocker roots and one cooked fish meat the fish meat can be cooked in a campfire or industrial grill just like the cooked meat and you're going to need one small egg now the small eggs are from the archipectex that's that little bird that flies in the redwoods and gets stuck on the trees the camelosaurus that is a morillotops the compies the dimorphs morphodons that's the flying things that can shred your armor the gallimimus the most annoying dino in the game the glow tails that's the little glowing lizards. The Hesperanus, that is the duck that lays the golden eggs. The Microraptor, an annoying thing can knock you off your, bird, or your birds or your mounts. The Oviraptors, that little thing that runs around and steals eggs. 
the Pachycephala, that's the Pachy, that's the little Friar Tut looking guy. Um, that's from Jurassic Park, by the way. The Pegomasis, I call these the stilly guys. They're the ones that steal the stuff from you. The Pteranodon, that's the flyer. Everybody knows what that is. And you have the Raptor and the Tech Raptor, the Trike and the Tech Trike, and the Cynomacrops. So you will definitely need one of small eggs, but those are the eggs that will do the simple kibble. All right, here's the dinos that prefer the simple kibble. All right, guys, the next kibble is the regular kibble and one of my most used kibbles. Um, this is because I tame Anklos and Dodicoruses with them, and that's a, two of the dinos I use the most, or almost the most. But anyway, regular kibble is the blue kibble. It um, requires medium eggs. You're going to need two long grass, two saver roots, and one cooked jerky meat jerky now you're going to use you cook the meat jerky in a preserving bin and i have a video on how to make jerky if you're interested in watching that one you're also going to need one medium egg now the medium eggs there's quite a big list of them here i'll run through it quick the anklo which is everybody knows what anklo is the baryonyx the carbine carbonemus that's the turtle the carno the dimetrodon Dimetrodon is the lizard-looking thing that's in the swamps. It's got a sail on its back. The Diplo, which is a, we call them the pinheads. They're like a big brontosaurus and annoying. The Itchy, whatever, that's that fly stilly bird that I can't stand. The Iguanodon. The Caprosuchus, which is the jumping alligator. The Kentro, which is the spiky things. I call them blood spatters. The Pachy rhinoceros, which is look kind of like a triceratops. got a different head. The Pelagornis, that is the pelican that goes into water and flies. The Pomano Scorpius, the scorpion. The Sarco, which is a big giant alligator, crocodile looking thing. The Stego, the Tech Stego, the Terror Bird, non flying birds. The Thorny Dragons, the Trudons. If you don't know what a Trudon is, those are the little things that have the glowing eyes that can knock you out, and they're usually out at night. And the Velanosaurs. And that is the regular kibble. All right, here are the dinos that prefer the regular kibble. All right, guys, the next one is the superior kibble. This is the purple kibble. This is my favorite one because I use it to tame Argentavis. Now, for the superior kibble, you're going to need two citronelle, two rare mushrooms, one prime meat jerky that is made in a preserving bin. And then one sap. You can get the sap by using a sap tap in the redwood trees or some of these larger trees on the other maps. There's also other ways to get them. Valgaro, you can harvest certain tree stumps and you'll get sap from them. And you're going to need one large egg. Now, the eggs are the Allosaurus eggs. That's a three-pack of dinos, smaller than a dino, that run around in threes. The Amargosaurus, which is the new one that was released on Lost Island. That's a passive tame. It looks like a, almost like a brano, but a little smaller. Uh, you got to fight with it to tame it. Then the Argentavis, the big birds, um, the Bloodstalkers, that's the spider-looking creatures released in Genesis. They're hide up in the trees. Um, the Megalania, that's the lizards that are found in the caves that can knock you out with poisoning you. The Megalosaurus, another cave dino. Um, you can find these outside too, but they're, they sleep during the day. They're aggressive at night. The Moshops, that's that one that you can level up different things and you can ride it without a saddle. Um, it's passive tame. Then the Snow Owls, the Spino or Spinosaurus, the Tapanjara, which is the looks like a Pteranodon, but a little bit different. It has a sail kind of fin on its head, flies all kind of directions. The Titanoboa, which is a giant snake, and the Tropiognathus, which is the other thing that has a kind of like a Pteranodon, but it has a large beak with teeth in it. And they came out with that one on Crystal Isles, and that one you have a jetpack saddle. So that is the Superior Kibble, guys. Here's the dinos that prefer the superior kibble. All right, guys, the next one is the exceptional kibble. This is the yellow kibble and probably one of the most used kibble. You're going to need 10 measure berries, one rare flower. I have a video on where to harvest rare flowers on the island if you don't know how to find those. And one focal chili. Now, the focal chili is going to be made in the industrial cooker or a cooking pot, just like you're going to make the kibble in. Now, you're going to need one extra large egg, and the extra large egg dinos are the basilisk. That's the giant snake that was in, came out in Aberration. 
the Brontosaurus, the Car Carcha, or the Carcha Cosaurus, that new one that they just released on all maps, the Giga, which is the Giga Notosaurus. Everybody knows what the Giga is. The Mega Shalanion. I um, probably said that wrong, but that's the giant turtle that was released on Genesis. The Quetzal and the Tech Quetzal, same thing. The Rex and the Tex Rex. And then the Therizinosaur. And that is the giant tickle chicken. But that is the exceptional kibble. Here's the dinos that prefer the exceptional kibble. Now, last but not least, guys, and probably the best one to use is the Extraordinary Kibble. You can use the Extraordinary Kibble on every lower dino other kibble you can. So if they require a lower than Extraordinary Kibble, you can use the Extraordinary Kibble on them. To make the Extraordinary Kibble, you're going to need the 10 measure berries, one giant bee honey. If you want to know how to get bee honey, you need to tame a bee. I've got a video on that as well. One Lazarus Chowder. The Lazarus chowder is made in the industrial cooker or in a cooking pot. And you're going to need one special egg. Now, any crystal wyvern egg will do. A Danonicus egg, that is the little dinos that you can steal their eggs. They latch on the dinos and bleed them. The golden Hesperonis egg, that is the duck. Now, the Hesperonis egg you can use for one of the other kibbles I mentioned earlier, but the golden Hesperonis egg is the one that's going to make this one. That is very hard to get. Magmanosaur eggs. Now, these can be fertilized too, guys. They don't have to be just not fertilized eggs. A rock drake. The void worm. The void worm is the metal wyvern that was released in Genesis 2. A wyvern egg. Any wyvern egg will do. Fire, poison, uh, ice, or a lightning one. And then the uteranus. Now, out of all these eggs for these guys, the wyverns are pretty easy. But the easiest one to use probably is the uteranus egg. So if you're going to make a bunch of these, get you some female uteranuses and just let them, let them lay eggs constantly. Here are the dinos that prefer the extraordinary kibble. All right, guys, but that is my video on how to make kibble. And I hope it was helpful for you guys. Just a basic thing on what the recipes are, how to make them, what you need to cook them. Um, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Any comments are appreciated. And I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time.